Title fights left to go. This one happening at 110 pounds in the ladies' division. Jin Yu stepping in tonight at 3-1, set to battle for the belt. Yeah, Jin Yu hailing from uh, my part of the world, uh, Dallas, Texas, actually training out of Arlington and uh, Mowers MMA. I think that really just kind of shows you uh, the type of organization that Tough Enough really is. It has a national appeal. People understand that this is the premier organization for amateur mixed martial arts anywhere in the nation. And if you want to prove yourself on the amateur level, you should come here to Las Vegas to do it. Uh, Jin Yu was actually just kind of working out at a, at a gym that happened to be promoting MMA and uh, kind of got into it. She was just there doing some fitness and that sort of thing. And, uh, the Decided to give it a try, and here she is. She's got four fights under her belt already. Said the favorite part about fighting is she gets to beat people up legally. So that's, that's something great to see. And so much it. more fun than illegally beating yeah. people up, you know? <laughs> way better, way better. You can actually get paid for it at some point in your life. And I tell you what, it's really funny. We, you know, we, we obviously talk to the fighters beforehand, and, and we always ask them a, a, a battery of questions. One of our standards is where do you see yourself in five years? Obviously, as amateurs coming up, we want to know where, you know, they see the sport and where they see themselves. Sure. And her answer was great. It says, hopefully with commissions that understand what's going on in a fight. Well, I'll tell you what, that is a, a great, great answer. Here in Las Vegas, thankfully, we have commissions that understand what's going on in the fight. Tonight, this is a big opportunity for Jin Yu. Again, belt on the line at 110 pounds. Yeah, five foot two inches tall, 27 years old, three and one, as you said, with two knockouts to her credit. Hasn't fought since October, so had a little bit of a layoff. We'll see if uh, that plays any factor tonight. Time to legally punch someone in the face. Jin Yu stepping into the tough enough cage right now. Looks focused and ready to go. Let's meet her opponent. And now the red corner, Jordan McDonald. Jordan McDonald, a fantastic young lady that fights out of Las Vegas. You see the crew that's walking in with her, including Robert Drysdale and James McSweeney. Jordan McDonald trains really hard. Oh, also back there, Jake Ellenberger. Jordan's been uh, traveling all around the, uh, specifically around the Southwest. Uh, Jake Ellenberger and Mark Munoz and all those boys train down at Rain Training Center in Orange County. She spends a significant amount of time down there. Also, a significant amount of time right here in Las Vegas. I've yes. seen her over at Throwdown. I've seen her at Drysdale's Jiu Jitsu at Extreme Couture as well. So, Jordan certainly making the rounds, training with the best in the world, getting ready for her big fight tonight. Been kind of streaky in her career. She, she started out with a loss in her debut back in 2009, then won four fights in a row then ended up losing her past two fights, but certainly has shown high-level capabilities in every one of her contests. Uh, lists her favorite fighter is Jake Ellenberger, because that's her boyfriend. You saw Jake Ellenberger give her a kiss <laughs> on the cheek there. And that's, was, not, that's not typical training there. Yeah, it was, it was more, more of the I'm your boyfriend, not your friend type of kiss. <laughs> but you know that Jake obviously has a lot invested in this as well. You see him there offering her words of encouragement. But Jake trains like nobody else trains. And he brings that same work ethic to Jordan's game. And Jordan seems like she is meshed so well with Jake's personality and lifestyle because she's got that real desire to win too. And I know that this is a big moment for her. She's been working hard at this. Sat down and had a conversation with her a couple of weeks ago and she said you know what if I'm gonna do this I've got to do it now this is my time if I'm gonna make an impact this has got to be it and being in tough enough fighting for the belt tonight this is a huge moment that starts right now 110 pound belt on the line here we go ladies and gentlemen this is the co-main event of the evening Scheduled for three three-minute rounds, all for the Tough Enough Women's 110-pound championship. Introducing first in the blue corner, with three wins and one loss, fighting out of Muller's MMA, Arlington, Texas, Jen Drew. Across the cage in the red corner, with four wins and three losses, Fighting out of Drysdale Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Las Vegas, Nevada, Jordan McDonald. <laughs> Referee in charge of the action is Mike Beltran. Now, ladies, been over the rules already. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves now if you want. At the sound of the bell, come on out and handle your business. Let's go. Jin Yu in the pink, Jordan McDonald in the red and the black. Three three-minute rounds, 110-pound belt in the women's division is on the line. 
Mike Beltran and his fantastic mustache set to begin the action. <laughs> and here we go. Donald across quickly looking to strike. Inside leg kick just misses. Glances on the outside knee. McDonald, taller fighter. Using that reach advantage. Yep, using the range well. Oh, Solid nice kick, kick to the body. body. Life's left hand from you. You hear the corner of Jin Yu saying, use your angles. Something that's very important when you've got a taller fighter with a reach advantage. Jordan McDonald doing a nice job, though. We're staying on the outside now. Of course, she closes the distance. Got a hold of Jin Yu. Pushes her up against the cage. So, like I said, another championship fight. Three minute rounds, a little bit more time to set things up. Mm -hmm. Jordan McDonald controlling from the outside right now. Yu does have an underhook on the right hand side. Looking to pick that leg. Jin Yu showing nice balance. Yeah, Jordan right. looking relentless, though. Yeah, the underhook was really helping her right there. Underhook remains. Be curious to see if Jordan McDonald sticks with this. McDonald's right hand on the fence. Doesn't look like she's grabbing it, though. Actually turn the hand the other way. Grinding stuff up against the cage. Again, you know, it doesn't look like much is happening, but this is one of the most fatiguing, exhausting aspects of mixed martial arts is this clinch work as they jockey for position. Couple of knees to the body from McDonald. She's able to keep landing those that will take an effect. Now it's you that briefly had the leg picked there. Circles off. Jordan McDonald looking for the neck a little bit. Jin's got that chin down. You, you briefly had her neck in trouble there, but grabbed the wrist and peeled it off. Still looking for the takedown now. Under a minute left in this opening round. A lot of jockeying for position, like you said, John. And while this doesn't look like the most action-packed thing that you'll see all night, a lot of fatigue. Yeah, and you really is leaving your neck out there a little bit. I thought McDonald was going to try for a, a guillotine there briefly. Did not do so. Um, but that's something she'll really need to be careful of as this fight wears on. A couple of boos from the crowd there. I think they want to see Rock'em Sock'em robots in the middle of the cage there. But this is some grinding work right now. Just about 15 seconds left in this opening round. Back and forth they've gone. McDonald throws a knee up but checks herself before it connects. <laughs> yeah, can't, can't throw to the jaw in the amateur level. Nearly did so. Did a good job of stopping herself. Landed some short little punches there. That's the end of round number one. Tough one to score, but if I had to pick, I would say Jordan McDonald, just based on the fact that she was the uh, the one that had that early position and seemed to be more aggressive early on. Yeah, I'm with you as well, Dave. Obviously a very close round overall. A big stalemate in the clinch. Um, we'll be interesting to see if either fighter wants to go back to that position in round two because it was so equally contested in there. It's difficult uh, to say either fighter really had an advantage. But it did see McDonald you know, landing the knees inside, was able to get a few punches, that sort of thing. So. Uh, yeah. One too many cornermen there. The boyfriend gets thrown out. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Ellenberger is uh, escorted out of the cage. But uh, a very close first round. I don't think either fighter is, you know, going to feel that they absolutely guaranteed, you know, took that fight and they can or took that round and they can bank on it. Um, I do have McDonald ahead 10-9 uh, on my scorecard, but that was a, a very uh, close round to score for sure. If I had to pick who was breathing harder at this point, it would be Jordan McDonald. It's interesting because you is very contained. It doesn't seem like she expended a lot of energy. I don't know if it was her strategy to take it into deep waters, but you're absolutely right. She never looked to, to be overly exerting herself. Second of three potential rounds. Here we go. Jordan McDonald in the red and the black. Jin Yu in the pink. 110 pound belt on the line. Nice inside leg kick. McDonald letting the hands fly early. Jin answers back. A couple of nice knees there from McDonald. Good clinch for yeah, McDonald. Yeah, tight clinch for McDonald. She's controlling the head, driving the knees to the body. Going to go up against the cage again. But this time Oof. in a tight clinch position. Nasty knees inside. Both fighters landed in the early going with punches. I think McDonald is the longer fighter and is able to strike from the outside just a bit. But Yu does a good job of moving inside and closing the range very quickly. Over under clinch right now. 
Yuya does a good job of maintaining her balance up against the cage and kind of fighting off the takedown. Now she's Yuya. actually the one that earns the trip and steps over to the back right away. Yeah, one hook is in, spot. here comes the punches. Jordan's trying to work her way back up, stand yeah. up. It's difficult because Yuya stepped over on the right-hand side. And McDonald now trying to turn into her, so that way Jin no longer has her back, and she's almost there, but that body lock that Jin Yu has with her legs around Jordan McDonald is making it difficult for her to f fully turn around and be in top position, but yeah. there she goes. Interesting decision for you to kind of fall back there. It seems like she thought maybe she could take the neck, but McDonald had already spun in, uh, making that impossible. So now Jin Yu essentially gives up top position to Jordan McDonald. So Jin Yu overhooking on the outside there, preventing her opponent from posturing up and raining down blows. Jin Yu's head trapped against the cage. Closed guard, not looking for anything yet, and Beltran calls for a stand-up. Yeah, and I don't dislike that stand-up, actually. I think that that was uh, appropriately timed. I, I agree completely, especially after the amount of time spent in the clinch and opening round. Uh, I think it's okay. Jin Yu throwing some heavy leather there. A couple of them connected. Jordan McDonald needs to put that reach to you. She uh, very effectively at the beginning of round number one was connecting with strikes and just keeping Jin on the outside. However, Jin Yu doing a nice job of using that footwork, cutting angles, and getting in now. Nice right hand from McDonald. And McDonald seems to be the aggressor. Jin Yu looking to counter. Has done so successfully, but I think she needs to really kind of pick it up and push forward if she wants to change the course of this fight because I think McDonald's getting more and more comfortable as this thing wears on. Yeah, and I, I, while you were saying that, John, I actually heard the corner of Jin Yu say, be the aggressor, be the aggressor. So great advice that you're uh, imparting there as well. And now Jin Yu is the one that has Jordan McDonald pushed up against the cage. Final seconds here of round number two, another very close round. Back and forth they've gone. Jordan McDonald has the head right now of Jin Yu as round number two comes to a close. Another close one, but um, I'm going to say Jordan McDonald again wins that round, even though for a moment there she looked like she could be in some serious trouble when Jin Yu had the back. Yeah, I agree with you completely. There was a, a moment there that was dangerous for Jordan McDonald as Jin Yu tried to get the back, but uh, you actually, you know, I think the decision to fall back there under her back and, and fall into the guard really was a, 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 an unwise one, unfortunately. I think maybe she thought she had better position than she did. Jordan McDonald was able to turn through that, get out of any trouble whatsoever. So, again, like you said, they had a very close round. It was you that actually scored the takedown but really didn't spend any time in top position to capitalize on it so I, I would give that round to Jordan McDonald as well I think she did uh, a, a little bit more on the feet obviously she had the knees so she more significant strikes and she is the aggressor throughout the fight so I've got McDonald on this one uh, two rounds to none heading into the third round uh, close rounds close rounds you can make a case for Jin Yu in, in, in both uh, frames but I, I think Jordan McDonald's up two to none right now I, I don't think she should fight as though she's up to the number. That's a great point, and that's what I was just going to say, is that when the when the judges are the ones that are scoring these fights, we have no idea what they're thinking and what they're seeing, so you can't come into a round in a fight that's been this close and just sort of rest on your laurels. You have to come out, you have to be aggressive, because so far, when Jordan McDonald is aggressive, she's winning the fight. Third and final round. Three more minutes to go, and then someone is going to get that 110-pound women's belt here at Tough Enough. Jordan McDonald in the red and the black, Jin Yu in the pink. Jin eats a punch. Yeah, nice counter right. That was nice. She's been able to land the left hand when she throws it, Jin Yu. So obviously, that's coming out in the southpaw stance there. She's landed a few left hands, but she's got to be first to the punch. She's allowing Jordan McDonald uh, to kind of set the tone, and, and I think that's been a mistake thus far. Jordan McDonald has had success with those knees. Let's see if she continues to use them. Yeah, you know, the clinch has been a, a very neutral position throughout, except for the fact that Jordan McDonald has been able to drive those knees into the midsection. Jin Yu wrapping the body right now. It, you know, if I were her, I'd, I'd actually be looking to separate and, again, be aggressive with the punches, throw that left hand because she was having success with it. Only two minutes left in this title fight. Jordan McDonald in the red and the black. She's pushing Jin Yu up against the cage right now. Those knees have been effective. She could slide out to the back. Oh, there's another, another nice knee. knee. You, know, you stepped over there. It looked like maybe she was going to try to slip around to the backside, which would certainly be, uh, you know, where she was looking good in the second round as well. But I think right now, Jin Yu has, has got to want to get away and make something happen. 
Jordan McDonald right now with half this round already spent looks to be controlling the action again certainly leaving an impression you would think on the judges but if somebody gets a big takedown here it could absolutely change the course of this round or even the fight Beltran watching very closely. I think he's thinking about breaking it up here. I think he's listening to the crowd a little bit much because they're they're working inside. Beltran breaking up the clinch. Crowd appreciates that. Just over one minute remaining, and this one is in the books. Jordan McDonald, Jin Yu, McDonald in the red and the black, Yu in the pink. Uppercut Yu looks for that, that uppercut. Left hand again, she's able to score with that left. She just needs to let it go. Yeah, you're exactly right. You actually see a little mouse forming in the corner of the eye of Jordan McDonald with that left hand connected. And again, that left hand connects. Now, McDonald pushing forward, lands a couple of shots of her own. Nice knees to the body, pushes you up against the cage. Yep, Less McDonald's than 40 seconds remaining. McDonald just kind of grinding away in the clinch here. Less than 30 seconds remaining, another nice knee. Yeah, McDonald has just been dominating his position with the knees inside. Again, you know, not always the most crowd-pleasing uh, position in a fight, but Jordan McDonald has done great work with it, landing the knees. Jin Yu's best opportunities were when she was broken apart and landing that big left hand, but just wasn't able to throw it enough. Final moments of the fight. We're down to four seconds on the clock. Jordan McDonald ending this fight in dominant position. We'll see what the judges think. Somebody is walking away with the 110-pound belt tonight. Jordan McDonald, in my opinion, executed that pretty well. Yeah, I think she did. Obviously, again, it, it, you can see the exhaustion from Jin Yu there. It, the, the tough, grinding fight in the clinch. Jordan McDonald was dominating with knees inside there. Uh, you know, not, maybe not the most crowd-pleasing fight at all times. I think fans would like a little bit more striking, but, uh, you know, well executed by, by Jordan McDonald, who just controlled the action in the clinch. I thought Jin Yu showed moments of, uh, of brilliance with that left hand, but just wasn't able to capitalize on it. Should be Jordan McDonald's fight, but close rounds, close rounds. Jordan talking with her coaches right now, including her boyfriend, Jake Ellenberger, Robert Drysdale. Great camp behind her. Let's see if it was enough to get the job done. Presenting the Tough Enough Women's 110-pound championship belt is Tough Enough President Barry Meyer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of combat, we have your winner by unanimous decision and new Tough Enough Women's 110-pound championship, Jordan McDonald. So Jordan McDonald, your champion, as we expected, just did enough to grind it out. Let's hear a few words from our We're champion. here with your winner, Jordan McDonald. How are you feeling right now, my friend? Really good. <laughs> we sat down and we talked a couple of weeks ago, and you said, uh, Dave, if I'm going to do this, I have to do this right now. You did it. How do you feel? I feel good. I came out here a year and a half ago, and I've been kind of chasing this. So it means a lot. It validates a lot of the hard decisions I made to get here. Well, Jin, you came out and put on a hell of a fight tonight. Looked like a really tough opponent. What was your biggest challenge as those nine minutes wore on? Um, you know, I didn't know a whole lot about her, so it was kind of a guessing game. She's strong. Um, she, she didn't make a whole lot of mistakes, so I had to, you know, she got a take down there. So I just, I had to stay on my toes. She, she brought a good fight. Well, a big night for you. Congratulations. 110-pound belts around your waist. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Jordan McDonald. So Jordan McDonald gets the job done and takes the 110-pound championship title. Stay tuned. We've still got our main event coming, and it looks to be a great one with the lightweight title on the line. Stay tuned for more Tough Enough, the future stars of Mixed Martial Arts.